Hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. So, my name is Pratik. I'm from Calcutta. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi. So, I was wow. born and raised in Delhi, but uh, okay. my roots are from UP, Lucknow. Wow. That's good to know. I'm pleased to know that, sir. So, uh, what are you trying to achieve on Clapping Go? Uh, so, uh, I'm trying to uh, become a better version of myself. So, <laughs> I guess it is the best practice that we can inculcate uh, if we have, if you are able to have a conversation on a daily basis. Absolutely. And, uh, we have such platforms like Clapping Go, wherein we can talk with different uh, tutors and, you know, and we can express our opinions freely. Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> so, I guess this is the best platform. So, I was associated with Clapping Go before as well, when uh, right at the very beginning. Uh, okay. so, uh, uh, for a good six months, I was uh, like uh, having a association with Clapping Go. And after that, I got married. Then I took a gap for about a year. And uh, so it's been like uh, a week since I again started having sessions uh, with Clapping Go. So congratulations for your marriage. And uh, thank and you so much. a very happy married life. It's a new beginning. Uh, yeah. And your journey with Clapping Go will uh, make a fresh start. We'll make a fresh start together. All right. So don't worry. So our goal is to be a better version of ourselves, right? So that is Absolutely. the best thing that you've said. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> be a better version of ourselves. Because even I, that is my goal as well, you know, to be a better version of myself. So wonderful. Wonderful right. talking to you, sir. I, uh, same, yeah. So this is the first time that, and uh, yeah. like, it doesn't feel like that we are talking for the very first time, but yeah. Absolutely. So, yes. Does it feel like so? So this is the thing. So, so how's how's married life treated you? Like how's married life? Good. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. So of course the experience has been great, and okay. uh, so always there is a little ups and downs, but you learn from your experiences, and yeah. yeah so yeah, everything is pretty uh, good. Very good. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. And how long have you been married? It's been exactly a year. Wow! <laughs> Congratulations oh, and happy you. happy marriage anniversary as well. So, oh, thank you, know. you so much. Yeah. yeah, it was in September, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So happy <laughs> marriage anniversary! Thank you so and, much. Thank you. So, so the coming uh, this this December, you must be all set to celebrate with your wife. Yeah, yeah. So I've already celebrated in uh, September. It was on fourth of September, okay. and uh, yeah, we did celebrate it, and yeah. <laughs> So happy. I can see the I can see the happiness in your face, and I'm feeling happy. This vibe is kind of you know rubbing on me. So, so thank you, thank you. Happy always, put. So, uh, sir, uh, tell me something. Yeah. Uh, is this a 15 minute session or 25 minute session, sir? Uh, it's a 15 minute session. 15 minute session. Yeah. So today the topic of our discussion is uh, challenges. Challenges. Okay. 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 So, so do you think uh, like uh, uh, challenges are important in our life? Absolutely, yeah. I I completely second that. Uh, they are indeed important in our life. They really play a very integral part of our life. Because yeah. if we do not get uh, challenges, if we do not face uh, challenges, we uh -huh. won't be able to learn. We won't be able to you know better ourselves. And right. uh, life is not all hunky and dory. We keep on striving to become, of course, at the cost of repetition, that we always strive to become better. And that is what. And while uh, when we go through that uh, process, so we get so many uh, challenges. So yes. that's what it is. So we learn from all those uh, challenges. And it is good that we, uh, like whenever we get uh, some difficult work, let's, let's say, uh, I am working in the healthcare industry. I am working in a particular uh, process. And if something has been assigned to me uh, by my boss, so if the work is very difficult, if that uh, particular project is difficult to me, and if I take it as a challenge, yes, uh, if I have that will, you know, I would be able to do it. And if I put 100% to that work, so I would be able to achieve it. And, you know, later on, uh, if the same uh, thing would uh, come up to me again, I would yes. be able to tackle that situation or uh, that uh, project in a very easy manner because Absolutely. I've already, you know, done that. 
yes uh, that's what it is so challenges uh, what i believe is uh, that uh, make us uh, you know better absolutely so we don't have to actually run away from the challenges or from the problems uh, that we face we just have to uh we, you know face uh, the uh, challenges and yeah and those are actually good uh, and actually and if you are uh, able to uh, you know face all the challenges uh, if you are able to take the challenges in a positive manner those uh-huh. challenges would be able to uh, reflect in our personality in some other way yeah you know so absolutely. yeah absolutely great sir the points are like solid points so these are like you couldn't have said it better it was very nice and uh, i really appreciate the points that is said i will just polish it a bit a bit i'll polish it a bit okay when you said uh, the challenges play an integral part in our life okay you yeah. said that okay yeah yeah so what what you can say over here which which would sound better is challenges are an integral part of our life Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. Challenges are, are an integral part of our life, oh, yeah. or you can say challenges are a part and parcel of life. Part this and parcel ego. of life. Yeah, okay. yeah. Part and parcel ego. of life. Yeah. Okay. Or you can say challenges play an important role in our life. Challenges yeah. play an important role in our life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And when you said that about the reflection of the personality, personality, you can yeah. also add that. challenges help in molding our personality molding you know molding our personality yeah 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 that would be a lot better way to say it yeah put it across so your, yeah. so your thoughts are so profound and so good so i couldn't resist <laughs> myself from this polishing it a bit you know because no, that no, would be so much yeah yeah finishing and touch that is indeed a better way to say it yeah yeah that will sound really a uh, Absolutely impeccable. That would be impeccable. We have the thought, the points itself are so solid, and now with this adjustment, fine tuning, it's like impeccable. So great, great. I'm so happy to hear this. And uh, so now tell me something like, uh, have you faced any challenge in your life that has molded your personality? Oh, always, always. So I, I used to. So the biggest uh, challenge that has been. With, with me and i still face it sometimes that i used to stammer a lot okay. and i used to stuck on words you know for so long and uh, when i started my uh, career in the bp industry and uh, in mnc so it used to get so difficult and uh, so the daily uh, like it, it, it used to be a great challenge for me it used to be a difficult task to speak because my aim is to become a public speaker <laughs> it is and uh, because the the i want to overcome the greatest fear which i have and which i had was because right now i am so confident that i would be able to speak to anyone i have that kind of uh, confidence and it was just because of and the major uh, fear was not because of uh, communication skills it was because of uh, my stammering uh, problem so that was a great ob- obstacle but i uh, you know practice daily i used to read aloud i used to because i am an english honors graduate i love reading books right. so, so what i used to do uh, let's say i am reading a novel so i read used to read within you know myself i i i used to read everything aloud okay so, wow. so that was the practice which i had inculcated all uh, throughout my years and uh, i i i still do it Wow. and uh, so that uh, has been the biggest uh, challenge for me great i am and kudos to you that you have overcome that challenge i mean this is like a big challenge that you have actually completely you have completely overcome that challenge oh Because absolutely we, so my role you. model was yeah my my role model was hrithik roshan so i like i had heard this his story you also must have heard about it yeah. that uh, of course uh, the profession Uh, like where he work you know uh, so he has to portray everything you know on screen so everyone like all over, all over the world you know and it is all all about your dialogue delivery and yes. uh, so he used to practice a lot and he also used to stammer a lot so yes. if if being in that uh, field considering uh-huh. that i was like okay and if he can do it i would also be able to do it mm-hmm. so 
even i even i heard that story and it was so inspiring and and now i don't need to look at rithik roshan i just have to look at you because you are an example shining example so you should you, you so should much. you should motivate people with your videos you know you know are you on youtube so you can always I like am, i am yes. you are you're okay yes. so you should this this should be your story of inspiration you should uh, present the story to everybody let the world know because sure. people who are actually facing the same challenge will be will get inspired by hearing your story absolutely yeah. because there are so many people who are hesitant and who are afraid to speak about their uh, problem so absolutely. this is indeed a great uh, problem and yeah. uh, but but yes if you are able to overcome it it is just the will and the dedication of course it will take time but yeah. yes as the time goes by you will be able to achieve whatever we are able to not only yeah. is it's not only uh, confined with stammering uh, it can be like it can be any other uh, you know problem. yes pro- problem so yeah i guess uh, this yeah. is the best thing that which which we can do uh, to better ourselves absolutely i'm so inspired like I'm, i am inspired by hearing your story and i'm sure millions of people who whoever watches your youtube video and listens to your story would get inspired i'm so impressed really this is like hats off to you the way you have like you know overcome this challenge and really that has made you a stronger person i think yes yes it has it has yeah i i used to be uh, an introvert uh, okay. guy okay. and i didn't used to talk to anyone because uh-huh. i because i used to go to into my shell because right. of the main problem yeah. and 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 i used to tell my uh, parents uh, that uh, i don't feel like going to the office and i don't feel like going to the school and i didn't used to share this with anyone even uh, with my parents or or with my elder brother that why i don't feel like i just used to say i don't feel like going to school and i u- didn't used to mingle with everyone with my friends and you know so this was the main reason but uh, yes slowly and steadily and it was a need of the hour yes because uh, you know when i started working when i had uh, that financial crunch we had so it was a need of the hour and i faced uh, challenges i got bullied as well because of this uh, so yeah. it is normal you know you know and uh, you know people make uh, fun of you and how you speak and being in a calling environment where you have to speak with international clients and yeah. your calls are being uh, monitored yeah. and you are being but thankfully thankfully uh, i guess that's been the major part when i used to speak in english I didn't you to st- uh, stammer much, so okay. that was a uh, strong point. So that was a silver lining, I believe. Silver lining. Yeah. So yeah, and when I used to speak in Hindi, then I used to get stuck a lot. But still, the problem was with uh, English speaking as well because I used to get stuck and used to take uh, very long uh, pauses. So, right. but yeah, slowly and steadily, I uh, overcame it and. And, and how, how long did it take? How long did it take you to overcome it completely? I have been practicing it uh, since my uh, childhood, I believe. I guess since tenth uh, standard, I had been uh, practicing it since tenth wow. standard. Yeah, if I'm able to recall it uh, correctly. Wow! Wow! Amazing! Amazing! And so, so it was due to breathing problem, I guess, right? From what I know, this the uh, habit of getting stuck is because of a breathing uh, problem. breathing problem and i guess it is all uh, nervous system issues i uh, okay. and uh, confidence issues and it was i used to list as well so okay. thankfully thankfully so there were so many things that i you know uh, reading is one thing that i recommend to everyone uh, okay. even who is struggling yes the reading aloud yeah is reading aloud beneficial yeah and How speak as much as we can How it has everything because it boosts uh, the uh, my uh, uh, it had boosted my uh, confidence and uh, i uh, you know learned so many uh, new words and the uh, rhythm while we if you are uh, continuously you know like if you are in a habit to of uh, reading on a on a daily basis it comes naturally and uh, we wouldn't be able to realize it but yes after a month or after uh, a couple of months it will yeah. start uh, coming out naturally if you were to adopt this habit so 
that was that it was it worked a... for me uh, it worked for me it took time yes and i still struggle uh, there are some words yes and uh, i uh, you know sounds there are some uh, some sounds with wherein uh, i still struggle but yes i still uh, practice those sounds so sounds are indeed a very uh, critical part while uh, pronouncing words how we uh, the intonation uh, is really really important so yeah. so thankfully the voice accent uh, trainings which i uh, happen to attend in my uh, like in bp industry so that also really help me and and those uh, voice accent uh, training really gave me that push right. and uh, there were a couple of mentors you know uh, when i looked up to them and uh, i used to think okay i really want to become like them uh, how polished they are you know so the the way they used to speak and uh, and, and and thankfully i have been watching english m- movies since my uh, childhood so yeah. i had that uh, keen interest yes. and uh, so it also really helped me in uh, yeah. how to you know speak how to convey my message to other person and how to express myself absolutely truly inspiring truly inspiring so i i just uh, since we're running out of time we get disconnected yeah. automatically just yeah. wanted to give overall feedback there were yeah. no grammatical errors okay <laughs> there were no like, grammatical errors i was noticing i was hanging on to every word of yours there was no grammatical error then um, so you are using good words like inculcate you know inculcate you know in fact the integral part everything that was all good i just polished it a little bit but it, it was that, that was your words your words so it was good so keep up this this expression you know these words these phrases keep that hunky dory these are good good words you can also say uh, life is not a bed of roses so you can also add this yeah yeah, yeah. that is again a very good idiom yeah yeah Yeah. yeah so please carry on practicing and kudos to you you are a true inspiration and i loved talking to you and i would love to talk to you again okay. absolutely same okay. yeah same yeah. thank you so much for, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your story thank you so much thank you so much okay okay bye 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 take care have a wonderful day bye